Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm known in the street, and this is just another quick life on the next video. Um, sorry, this is all I'll be able to get out this weekend because I'm going on a band trip. But yeah, um, as you can see, I have a web page pulled up here: Netflix for Ubuntu Desktop PPA, and this is quite recent. Uh, okay, maybe not as recent as I thought, but um, you know, I uh, my family has a Netflix subscription. And, you know, one of the biggest things about Linux is, you know, media support. This actually came to my attention when I was trying to play an encrypted DVD or encoded or whatever it's called. Um, and I had to go and install something extra. I thought, maybe I should make a video about that. I won't have time to do that today, but I will have time to do this. Uh, specifically because I haven't even tried it yet. I'd like to see if this works. And you'll be here to witness it. So, yeah, as you can see, I, uh, you know, I'm logged into Netflix here. But then when I go um, and try to watch something, then... Uh, complete system requirements and just so you know when I do install um, things in wine then it does not work in wine um, uh, and yeah I do have Windows in a virtual machine partly for for the purpose of watching Netflix but it would be so much easier if I could just you know start up a Netflix app so I am going to open my terminal here and I will have a link to this video in the description if it works of course um, all right, where the heck is, here we go. All right, so, sudo apt add repository ppa e hoover slash comp polio password. And, all right. And sudo apt get update. And of course, we're reloading all of our package lists because uh, that's what that command there does. Um, all right, and sudo apt git install netflix desktop, and there we go. Yes. Um, you should be able to do this through your package management system like Synaptic or whatever comes with uh, KDE, Muon, Munon, um, you should be able to do this through your package manager, I just use the terminal, um, when it's quickly and easily available, just because I can, so no need to worry about that, um, and if I understand this correctly, um, this program actually does go through Wine, however, apparently Wine for, you know, Internet Explorer and Silverlight, there are some very specific instructions or you know scripts and settings you have to have and this program I guess basically just does that on its own um, I guess so uh, yeah Silverlight should ask you to enable DRM content uh, please enable, duh uh, yeah. yeah, I've actually been looking into um, how Netflix handles their their user stuff. They recently took off, well, number one, they recently took off Stargate, which, you know, is automatically a big minus for me. They get an F minus for taking the Stargate franchise off of their services. Um, but also, they took off the uh, suggest, a, suggest a title box. And what they said was that their team basically knows just about every title that's out. And I get that if there's, like, something new out, they might not want people requesting it, but I honestly think that is incredibly arrogant. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, our team basically knows every title that's out. Um, if there were, then people like me wouldn't be complaining. Um, so, yeah. But this, you know, I, I'm still using Netflix because I don't pay for the account. So, <laughs> while my family still has one, I'd like to use it. Now we're downloading... Firefox, I guess it goes through not Internet Explorer, and we're also downloading Silverlight from Microsoft.com. Oh God! Oh, all right. Okay, cool. So now we should have Netflix. No. Netflix is what we just installed. Multimedia. Ah. <coughs> yes. So um. Netflix. It doesn't show up right here because the, the search can be a little laggy, but uh, the app is called Netflix Desktop, and this was designed for GNOME. I'm doing it on KDE. Alright, so we're doing Wine Configuration. 
needed for .NET apps. I'm gonna cancel, cancel. I hope I don't regret canceling twice. Because, you know, sometimes I can regret such things. Okay. Goody, looks like we're starting up anyways, even though that stuff didn't really, uh, yeah, do what we wanted it to. Alright, member sign in. Uh, ah, wow, alright. So we are logged in. I can already tell this isn't quite as smooth. Did I just X out? I didn't mean to X out. I just wanted to get out of full screen was what I was trying to do. Oh, and by the way, this might not work because of, um, copyright infringement crap. Ah, so here we have Netflix running in our Firefox within a Wine uh, environment, I guess. Um, as you can see, the scroll bar over here, we are within a Wine environment. So, now I'm going to just... Uh, the Walking Dead is... The Walking Dead is, like, public domain, right? Night of the Living Dead, not Walking Dead. Alright, in that case, I'll just... Um, try this out here. This is not The Walking Dead. This is Psych, uh, which I don't own the rights to, but, you know, once again, this can go full screen. I You just press 11 to go to window, out of full screen, press 11 to go back to full screen. Oh, that actually works as well. And I am pleased to say that, yeah, it appears that playing is working. You cannot hear the audio because I disabled that just because I don't want to get shot down for copyright and I'm not going to play in more than a few seconds but yeah this isn't even this isn't even too bad in terms of uh, choppiness as you can see the effects are a little choppy after pausing and letting it play alright so if you're like a major um, a major major video person then you know you might have some issues with this you might want to want to reconfigure some of your wine crap but, um, me, I, I just want to watch, you know, a little Star Trek and, um, no more Stargate, because apparently that's not fit for Netflix, but, um, I mean, yeah, this definitely works, so, so yeah, um, that is excellent, that's very excellent, I'd like to give special thanks not to Netflix, because they suck, and they've actually commented on why, like, they've had different employees saying different reasons why they don't have Netflix for Linux. Um, some of them say for, you know, anti-piracy reasons, some of them say that it's out of their hands, that it's licensing, which I completely don't buy. Um, and they usually end up just shutting your question on their forums down if you even ask them why they don't have Netflix for Linux. So Netflix was in no way affiliated with this do not thank Netflix for uh, being able to watch Netflix because they do not want to have anything to do with this. Um, but iHeartUbuntu, um, iHeartUbuntu.com, they were the ones, they provide a lot of cool stuff. Like, I was not aware Kingsoft Office is what I use on my Android tablet. And uh, yeah, I did not know that was available for Linux. So yeah, this website provides a lot of great stuff, um, including, uh, yeah, Netflix for Ubuntu desktop PPA. And this was actually in response to something they put out um, themselves. They actually, this wasn't just an article. This was like, they actually put out a competition. They published like a competition to see what developer could like get a Netflix um, for Linux app up and running first. And um, I thought this was just really freaking cool. Um, because, yeah, last time I checked, that competition had not had any entries yet. But obviously, yeah, the, there are actually people, like, responding here. I mean, who knows? I Heart Ubuntu could um, challenge someone to make a better front-end to GLC, or even better, an alternative to GLC. Um, uh, so, yeah, there's all kinds of, kinds of things these community things could do, which is the spirit with Linux. So, yeah, special, special thanks to I Heart Ubuntu and whoever submitted this app, but yeah, um, that is how you get your Netflix working on Ubuntu, and, um, uh, yeah, and Kubuntu as well, and this should, I guess, well, I don't know if it'll work on, uh, other distros, it should if you know how to do it, um, but we're just covering Kubuntu, so, so yeah, that is that, and that's about all I wanted to show you today. I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm Then in the Street, and I will see you later. See ya.